Hi and welcome back to our kitchen and to our Catholic cookbook challenge for the month of May. If you've been following along in our Catholic cooking challenge series, you know that every month we try new to us recipes from a different Catholic cookbook. So today we're going to be trying several recipes from this cookbook, Tea and Cake with the Saints by Alice Cantrell. And as you can see, they have created a little tea party here with the Blessed Mother as a guest of honor. So we thought that was a really cool idea for the month of May, which is Mary's month. So that was our inspiration and we are going to attempt to create a similar Marian tea time spread. So we have our book, we have three different recipes that we're going to try, and we have our favorite kitchen Madonna here with us today. So let's get started. we jump into the cooking, we did want to talk a little bit about Tea and Cake with the Saints. It is such a fun cookbook because it has all different types of tea time recipes and menus, but not only that, it also gives you poems for each season and lists of saints for each month, craft ideas, hospitality tips, all kinds of neat things. And we actually have the older version of this book but this version is spiral bound, which is wonderful because it will lay flat. And the target age range for this book is about nine to 14 years old. So that's really nice because none of the recipes are too complicated, which is good for us. So for each season, you do get a full tea time menu, spring, summer, winter, fall. But today we are mixing and matching different recipes from different seasons. So from the fall menu, we are going to try out the Parmesan herb bread and the smoked ham sandwiches. And then from the winter menu, we're going to be making some tea and some cream cheese mints. So let's go ahead and get started with the herb bread. You're going to need flour, salt, baking powder, Parmesan cheese, butter, Italian seasoning, parsley, onion and garlic powder, and milk. This is a quick bread recipe that looks like it comes together really easily, but it sounds like it's going to be delicious. So I am looking forward to the taste test of this one. It also says that it makes a very good gift. So that's something to keep in mind. So starting with the dry ingredients, we have the flour, then salt, Italian seasoning, then baking powder, onion powder, garlic powder, and parsley, and then I'm just whisking it all together. Then for the wet ingredients, we have melted butter and milk, and then we're adding Parmesan cheese to that and mixing it together. Then mixing that into the dry ingredients, being careful not to overmix the dough. Then I put it into a loaf pan and just smooth it out and then it goes in the oven while we work on the rest. And then we have the cream cheese mints. And all you need for these are powdered sugar, cream cheese softened, peppermint flavoring, and then sugar. The recipe calls for just regular white sugar, but we have some colored sugars, which we're going to use and make it a little bit more spring, a little bit more fun. So this is three ounces of cream cheese and the recipe evidently makes 45 mints. So this is a very new to us recipe. We thought it would be fun to try. And the book tells us that it also makes a really nice gift. So we start with the cream cheese and I'm just breaking that up in the bowl a little bit so it's easier to work with. And then we're adding all the powdered sugar. And then the peppermint extract and I'm mixing it all together. I tried using a spatula, but it wasn't working, so I had to use my hands. And then we just rolled the dough out and dipped it in the sugar and flattened it a little bit on the tray. And as you can see here, we added the yellow sugar for more variety. So now we're going to move on to the ham sandwiches. And for that, it's very simple. We have some rolls, we tried for some variety, some that were interesting. And then obviously you need ham, and then you're going to be making a honey mustard. So you just need mustard and honey. Well, of course, Bishop Beagle came running when his ham sensor went off. So here he is licking the ham wrapper. No, uh, no. Oh, Bishop Beagle, Bishop Beagle, you cannot eat the ham Crimes wrapper. You're done. 
So we started just with the honey mustard, which is quite literally just honey mixed with mustard. Then we cut the bread open, the pretzel rolls were already pre-cut, and then we started to assemble the sandwiches. So for drink options, the book has different beverages listed per season, like lemonade for the summer or hot chocolate for the winter. Um, but we're going to be doing some tea here because obviously we're going for the tea time theme. So we have this really beautiful teapot that my grandmother gave me a couple years ago and we're going to use that. And then for our tea, we're going to be making some of these stash chai spice tea, which is one of our favorites. And then for teacup options, we have this really cute little set here um, that's probably best for smaller kids. The cups are smaller. But then we also have this set of teacups, which comes from my grandmother, Kate's great-grandmother. <laughs> so it's been around for a long time. And the book also gives you a nice history of tea time and tea in general and teacup history. So that's one of the hidden bonuses in this book. So yeah, all we're really doing here is making the tea in the teapot. And we also have some cream with that. And then here is the final spread. quickly and we're very pleased with how it turned out. Again, we have our kitchen Madonna. Then for decoration, we added just a simple bouquet of flowers that we had around the yard. These are all flowers that you would traditionally find in a Mary garden. There's the rose, which symbolizes Mary and her love for Jesus and the Father. Pansies are called Our Lady's Delight and Rosemary is Our Lady's Nosegay. So it doesn't have to be fancy, but we just thought it was kind of neat that all of these flowers represent Mary in some way. So I think now we're going to pour the tea and then move on to the taste test. My favorite part. And Bishop Noodle is currently trying yes. to get at the food in the kitchen. We're gonna add some creamer because we're creamer girls here. So we have our sandwiches, our mints, and our herb bread. Which should we try first? Which should we try first? Let's try the mints first. Uh, starting with dessert, is that bad? No, it's fine. It's fine. Wow. Mm, Those are wrong. <laughs> very minty. Mm. If you like cheesecake, you will like these mints. Clear the palate. No, it's not too hot. Uh, it's, you know, it's fine. It's 88 degrees outside, but hot tea always works here. It's lovely. All right, let's try the herb bread next. This smelled so good while it was cooking. That is a delicious, savory type oh, of yeah. herb bread. And then the sandwiches. We picked out the pretzel rolls to try with the honey Dijon. Definitely three winners here. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me wonder what all the other recipes in that book are like, because these are all so good. We will definitely be trying them. Okay, so that is the wrap up of our Catholic cooking challenge for May. We were using again, Tea and Cake with the Saints by Alice Cantrell. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. Let us know down in the comments if you ever try any of these things. And we thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.